Hello, welcome to back to Elite Math Studio. Today we will be actually doing primary six algebra. We'll be actually starting on the primary six algebra. So what's actually algebra? Algebra is actually use uh we could, what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna use letters to represent numeral or certain values. Okay, we we'll learn more about algebra today. Okay, so the first thing about algebra before we still do any algebra, we need to do and some simple addition and subtraction, including negative numbers. Why is this so? Because we actually need this technique to help us do simplification of uh, of equations later on. So let's try first. The first one, the question asks me to find the value of five plus two. So five plus two is actually pretty simple. I think everyone knows that, which is actually equals to seven. But why is that actually the reason? Why is actually five plus two is actually equals to seven? It's actually based on the number line here. Okay, let's say this is zero. This is one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, and then 7. On the left will be, today is something new, you didn't learn this, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, so on and so forth. Okay, so 5 plus 2 means what? 5, so why is it 5 plus 2 equals 7? Okay, we can, we can use actually your number line to help us explain. Why is it 5? 5 is actually right here. This is actually 5. Plus 2, what do you mean by plus 2? means you need to jump, plus or means jump to the right. Minus means jump to the left. So you need to jump to the right. How many steps? Two steps. So answer will be one, two. That's why it's actually seven. Okay. Next one. Let's try. The question asks us to find five minus two. Five minus two. So five minus two we know is actually equals to three. So why is it equals to three? Same thing. What number we start with? We start with five. Now minus means what? Jump to the left. How many steps? Two steps. One, two. So we end up with three. Next one, we try the other one. The first one is to find 2 minus 5. What's 2 minus 5? We know that 2 minus 5 is actually 2. So where's 2? On the number line, where is 2? 2 is actually right here. Minus means jump left. Now, jump left, how many steps? 5 steps. So answer would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The answer is actually equal to negative 3. Okay, I give an example. So I want you to go and try it yourself. This one yourself. Go and do it, just try it yourself. Okay? Next one. What will be one minus ten? So the same logic, one minus ten, a number line. This zero and this one. Minus, you start with one. You need to jump how many steps? Left, ten steps. So from one to zero is only one step. So how many more steps? Such as must you jump left, such as you achieve in total ten steps to left. When you jump in total, 9 steps. So answer will be negative 9. Okay? Next one, same logic. The question wants what? Negative 1 plus 5. So it's actually negative 1. So number one number is that we start with negative 1, which is right here. You need to jump plus means jump right. How many steps? 5 steps. From here to here is only one single step. So how many steps more must you jump to the right? Such as in order to achieve 5 steps to the right. You have to jump. Four more steps. So answer is four. <coughs> okay, so this is how you actually do it. You visualize the number line on in, in, in your mind and then you ask yourself what number do you start with? Do you jump right or left? That's how you're gonna do it. Okay, the next one, try it. Please go and try it. Next one, negative two minus six, so same thing. What number do you start with? What number do you start with? You start with what? Negative two. How many steps do you, you jump left? How many steps? Six steps. So what do you get? Negative 2 minus 6 is actually equal to negative 8. Okay. So all to try it, what you can do is actually pause the video, go and try it, and draw. imagine the number line in your mind. Else okay, you can draw it out. But the best is actually you can imagine the number line in your mind and do the jumping method. Next one. We do the next one. 2 minus 5 plus 10. So I work it out first. 2 minus 5 plus 10. So for this question, what I need to do is actually for you, for me, what I do is actually I do 2 minus 5 first. So what's 2 minus 5? The value of 2 minus 5 is actually equals to negative 3 plus 10. So what's negative plus 10? Then using the number line is actually equals to 7. Okay, can? So to do the next one, negative 7, negative 6 minus 7 plus 10. So it's actually equals to negative 6 minus 7 plus 10. So we ask ourselves, what's, if we do the first one, sorry, 
What is negative six plus negative six plus minus seven is actually equals to what? It's actually equals to negative thirteen plus ten. So what's negative thirteen plus ten is actually equals to negative three. Okay, let's move on. So all to try a question, please pause the video and go and try it. So once you are done, resume back. How you're gonna do? Remember it's just the jumping method. A more complication, a more complicated questions like this, what you need to do is actually break it up. You do two numbers by two numbers. Okay? Let's move on to the next one. This one. 12 minus 8 minus 18. So the first step we do this one first. 12, 12 minus 18. 12 minus 18 is actually equals to our negative 6 minus 2. So what's negative 6 minus 2? The answer will be negative 8. Okay? Next one. Negative 2 minus 7 plus 11. So the first step, negative 2 minus 7. What's negative 2 minus 7? Negative 2 minus 7 is actually equals to our negative 9 plus 11. So what's negative 9 plus 11 is actually equals to negative 2. Okay? The next one, a more complicated one. But it's actually the same thing. We're going to break it up. We're going to do it 2 by 2. There's no need to rush. We can take our time to do it. As most important is actually to get the final answer. So what's negative 2 minus 5? Negative 2 minus 5 is actually equals to our negative 7. Plus, sorry, plus 2 plus 7. So what's negative 7 plus 2? What's negative 7 plus 2? Negative 7 plus 2 is actually equals to our negative 5 plus 7. So what's negative 5 plus 7? The answer will be positive 2. Okay, the next one. Negative 5 minus 1 plus 7 minus 10. So let's do the first two first. 5 minus 1. So what's 5 minus 1? It's actually equals to 4 plus 7 minus 10 equals to equals to same thing what's the next step do the first two 4 plus 7 what's 4 plus 7 is actually equals to 11 minus 10 is actually equals to 1 okay the next one 6 plus 5 minus 2 minus 10 same thing let's do the first two first so what's 6 plus 5 6 plus 5 is actually equals to 11 minus 2 minus 10 next thing you need to do same thing do the first two so it will be equals to 11 minus 2 is actually equals to 9 9 minus 10, which is equals to our negative 1. Okay, so you can see how to try question. Please pause and go and attempt the try question yourself. It's yourself. Okay, Ken, let's move on. Next one. 3 minus 10 minus 2 plus 6. So the first step, we go and do 3 minus 10 first. What's 3 minus 10? 3 minus 10 is actually equals to negative 7. Minus 2 plus 6. Next one. What's negative 7 minus 2? It's actually equals to negative 9 plus 6. What's negative 9 plus 6? Negative 9 plus 6 is actually equals to one, negative 3. Okay? So where you have C, where you have, like, for example, our terms, the expression, we have, like, three terms like that, or even, for sorry, four terms, or even sometimes we have three terms like that, do not panic. What you need to do is you just do 2 by 2. Okay? Can? So go ahead and attempt to try the question, pause the video and go and do it. The next concept I need to teach you today is actually the simplification. Simplification. So I'm going to do this. Very simple. 3x, let's look at the first one. 3x, pardon me, 3x plus 8 plus 8x minus 2. First step, what you're going to do here is actually try to group all the x up together. Okay, so it's actually 3x and plus 8x. What's 3x plus 8x? 3x plus 8x is actually equals to 11x. Next step, we group all the constant up together, which is positive 8 minus 2. What's positive 8 minus 2? It's actually equals to positive 6. Okay, simple enough. Let's try another example. Same thing. Let's read the question. 3x plus 28 plus 18x minus 12. So the first step is actually group all the x up together. So it's actually 3x plus 18x. What's 3x plus 18x? 3x plus 18x actually equals to 21x. Okay, 21x. Now we group all the constants up, which is positive 28 minus 12. 28 minus 12 is actually equals to plus 16. Okay, Ken, same thing. I'll leave two, I actually wrote two examples for you. So what I'm going to do is actually try to do it yourself. Remember the technique is actually to group all the x up together and all the constants up together. If you have any doubts, please refer to the last two examples I just shown you. Let's try the next few. Next one. 
same thing in this equation so same thing what you to do is actually pardon me let me zoom in first okay so the question will ask me to simplify this so what you need to do is actually group all our x up together group all the constants up together so we will write 12x plus 8x what's 12x plus 8x is actually equals to 20x okay then group all the numbers up together is actually equals to negative 8 plus 2 What's negative 8 plus 2? This actually equals to negative 6. Same thing, negative 8 plus 2. Let's create concept again. 0. Negative 8 is here. Plus means what? Jump to the right. How many steps? 2 steps. So you end at negative 6. Okay. The next one. Same thing. Group all x together. So it's 3x and negative 8x. What's 3x minus 8x? 3x minus 8x is actually equals to is actually equals to negative 5x next one you just group it up positive 8 minus 2 what's positive 8 minus 2 is actually equals to positive 6 okay can so same thing i give you another two example pause the video and go and work it out the idea group all the x up group all the numbers up just to be careful with the plus and minus okay so when you group the algebra up and also the constants up please tag along the signs as well Okay, next one. In this next few, ex next few examples, is a bit different from the previous few. In this example, you can see the previous example. In the previous example, for example this, you can see the equations are all in terms of what? Plus or minus. Plus or minus. But the next equation you see is actually slightly different. It's actually in terms of plus, minus, and multiplication. So for this question, you can't do the same technique as just now first. So the first step you need to do is actually you need to follow the order of operations. You need to follow the order of operations first. So the first step, you group, you do the multiplication first, which is here. Copy everything else, so it's actually equals to 13 y. What's 8 times 8? It's actually equals to 64 y plus 2. So what's the next step? The next step is actually group all the y. It's actually group all the y's up, which is what? 13y plus 74y is actually equals to 77y plus 2. Okay, next one, same thing. In this expression, we have minus, plus, and times. So based on order of operations, we need to do the multiplication first, which is this one. So copy down 11y minus 8 plus 16y. The next step, what you need to do is actually group all the y's up. So 11y plus 16y is actually equals to 27y minus 8. Okay, so for this question is slightly different. Please be careful because in the expressions have we have times inside. So what you need to do is actually follow our order of operations and then you do grouping up. Okay, next two examples, same thing. Pause the video and attempt it yourself. Next page. Now we need to do simplification and the value of expression. Simplification and value of expression. So the first step, same thing. We just do a grouping versus simplify first. Simplify means you need to group all the x up, all the numbers up. Okay, so for this one, it will be 23x plus 18x. What's 23x plus 18x? It actually equals to 41x. Okay, next step, group all the constants up. So it's actually 18, sorry, pardon me. So it's actually equals to 18 minus 2. What's 18 minus 2? Positive 16. That's simplification. However, if you look at the back here, we actually have a equals to 2 here. Equals to 2 here. So means so I now need to sub x equals to 2 in. So equals to 41 bracket 2 plus 16. Okay. So let me ask you, what do you mean by 2x? 2x is as good as 2 times x. 3x is actually as good as 3 times x. So if let's say I have 10x, it will mean 10 times x. Okay, so first, first one, next one, 41 times 2 plus 6. So let's do 41 times 2 first, which is equals to what? 41 times 2 is actually equals to 82 plus 16. What's 82 plus 6 is actually equals to 98. Okay, so what's the difference between this and the previous example? This one you need to do the last step, which is actually the value. Okay, so the first step is actually to simplify and then you do the value steps. The value steps. Okay, next one, simplify as well. 
3x and 8x. 3x plus 8x is actually equals to 11x. Okay, next one. Uh, we're going to do 8 minus 2. What's 8 minus 2? 8 minus 2 is actually equals to positive 6. Okay, what's the next step? We sub x equals to 3 in. We're going to sub x equals to 3 in. So write 11 bracket 3 plus 6. What's 11 times 3? 11 times 3 is actually equals to 33 plus 6, which is equals to 39. Okay, can let's go to the next one. Same thing for this. I actually I gave you two examples. Pause the video and go and attempt it yourself. The idea is actually do simplification first. So after you are simplified with that, then after that you sub in the respective values. Let's go to the next page. Just. Next one, we'll do a bit of algebraic problems. Algebraic problems. Okay. So the first one, let's read first. Ali is x years old. Okay, Ali is X years old now. Bob is five years older than Ali. Charlie is twice as old as Bob. Find the total age of these three person is three years time. So what I need to do is actually just try it out first. There's a lot of clues. So what I need to do is, do, do is actually to attend clue by clue. A is X. A represents Ali. Okay. We use the first clue. The question next one, the question say Bob is five years older than Ali. So Bob will be X plus five. Next one, Charlie is twice as old as Bob. So Charlie will be bracket X plus five times two. So it's actually equals to, what's X plus five times two? You get to multiply two to both the elements inside to x and also to positive 5. So as x plus 2 will be what? 2x plus 10. Okay, so next step is actually I can go and find our total age right now. What will our total age? We can group it up. So total age is like will be x plus x plus 2x. x plus x plus 2x will give you how many x in total? 4x. Okay. Plus, we can do the next one. Plus, positive 5 plus 10. is actually equals to 15. This will be their current age. Total current age. However, the question wants their age in 3 years time. So in 3 years time, one person, every person will grow by 3 years old. So what will be the total age? Well, total increment in their age? We will take 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So how to find the total age in 3 years time, we just take 4x plus 15 is actually equals plus plus 15 plus 9. So the answer will be 4x plus 24. Okay, that will be the that's actually the answer for this. Okay, the next one. Find their total present age in when x goes 3. So where's the total present age? The total present age is actually right here. So all I need to do is actually sub x equals to 3 in. Okay, sub x equals to 3 in. So write 4 bracket 3 plus 15. Okay, so what's 4 bracket 3? 4 bracket 3 is actually equals to 12 plus 15, which is equals to 27. Okay, Ken, let's try another example. Another example. Let's read first. Ali is X years old. So Ali is X years old. So write first. Ali is X years old. Sorry. Ali is X years old now. Bob is five years younger than Ali. Charlie is three years older than twice as old as Bob. Find the total age of three percent in five years' time. A lot of clues again. So what you need to do is actually do clue by clue. Let's write A first. A represents Ali. Ali, in this case, is how many years old? X years old. Bob is 5 years younger than Ali. So Bob will be X minus 5. The next one, use this clue. We use this clue. Let's move on. Ali is 3 years older than twice as old as Bob. Ali is 3 years older than twice as old as Bob. Let's try to find twice as old as Bob first. So twice as old as Bob will be x 
minus 5 times 2. What's x minus 5 times 2? It's actually equal to 2x minus 10. However, Charlie is 3 years older than twice as old as Bob. 2x minus 10 is actually twice as old as Bob. Now it's 3 years older. So now we need to add another 3 here. Same thing, 2x. Now this is tricky, you have to remember. This will be negative 10 plus 3. What's negative 10 plus 3? It's actually equals to negative 7. Okay, next step, we go and find the total age. Total of three, this 3 of them. So what I need to do is actually here. So it'll be x plus x plus 2x. What's x plus x plus 2x? will be what? 4x. Okay, the next one. Negative 5, sorry, pardon me. Hold on. Okay, we simplify next. We take negative 5 minus 7. Negative 5 minus 7, magic number line will give you negative 12. So this will represent their total present age. However, the question was the total age in what? 5 years time. So in 5 years time, each person will grow old by what? 5 years old. So what's the total increment in their total age? Total increment will be just take 5 times 3. That's our total increment. So what will be the total age in 5 years time? We take 4x minus 12 plus 15. It's actually equals to 4x. What's negative 12 plus 14? Negative 12 plus 15 is actually equals to negative 12 plus 15 is actually equals to positive 3. Okay, that's the answer. The next one, find their total present age when x equals to 20. What's their total present age? Their total present age is actually here. So what I need to do is actually just replace x by 20. So right here. 4 bracket 20 close bracket minus 12 4 bracket 20 is actually equals 80 minus 12 what's 80 minus 12? 68 that's the answer ok 68 Ken, so actually I wrote a question for you pause the video and go and attempt this yourself attempt this yourself ok next page we'll do a little bit of parameter in terms of algebra as well Let's read the question. The question states that <laughs> the length of the rectangular field is x. The breadth is 5 cm shorter than the length. Find me the parameter of field in terms of x. So that's the first one. So maybe you can just draw it on the diagram. So the question say that x is actually the length. So draw x here. Let's use the first clue. The question say the breadth is 5 cm shorter than the length. So this one in terms of x will be x minus 5. Do you agree with me? Okay, we have used this too. The question asks you to find a parameter. So what you do is actually just take x, the length, plus the length, plus the breadth, plus the breadth. Next step, just do a simplification. x plus x plus x plus x. So how many x will we give you? 4x. Next step, we simplify the constants up. Negative 5 minus 5. What's negative 5 minus 5? Negative 10. That's the answer. Okay, and the next one. You're supposed to find the parameter of the rectangle when x equals to 20. When x equals to 20. So replace x by 20. So it's 20 minus 10. Okay, so 4 bracket 20 is actually 4 times 20, which gives you 80 minus 10, which gives you 70. Okay. Straightforward now. Okay, so next one, I'll give you an example. Pause the video and try it yourself. Okay, we go to the next page. Sure. Let's try more. Next question. Okay, let's read. Ali has X marbles. Bob has two lesser marbles than Ali. Charlie has twice as Bob. Find the total of marbles they have in terms of X. Okay, so same thing, a lot of clues. So what you need to do is actually you go and break it out clue by clue. The question says Ali here has X. So write X here. Bob has 2 lesser than Ali, so it will be X minus 2. Tick, tick. Next one. Charlie has twice as many as Bob. Charlie, twice as many as Bob, which is 2. Sorry. So maybe I do the working out. This actually equals to twice as many as Bob. X minus 2 times 2. 
What's x minus 2 times 2? It's actually equal to 2x minus 4. The question wants to find the total number of marbles they have. So what you need to do is actually try to find the total right here, which is here. So the total right here. We take x plus x plus 2x. What's x plus x plus 2x? 4x. Next one, we take negative 2 minus 4. What's negative 2 minus 4? It's actually equal to negative 6. That's the answer. That's the total right now. Find number of marbles Charlie has if x equals to 40. So we talk about Charlie. Charlie is actually where? Right here. So you're going to do sub x equals to 40 right in. So you write 2x minus 4 equals to 2 bracket 40 minus 4. 2 times 40 is actually equals to 80 minus 4, which is equals to 76. Okay? Can? So the next one is actually a try it question. Next two is actually a try it question. So what you need to do is actually go and try it yourself. Okay, how you're gonna approach is actually something as the same as before. Go and list it out one by one and do it. Okay, the next one, we have some more. Let's show just try again. Ali has X apples. Bob has five more apples than Ali. And Charlie has half as many Bob's apples as Bob. How many apples does Charlie have in terms of X? Okay, so write it out. A, X. B, Bob has 5 more than Ali, so it's X plus 5. Next one, use the clue, let's do tick this. Ali has half as many apples as Charlie has half as Bob. Charlie, half as many, so it'll be X plus 5 over 2. This something new. Okay? So how many apples does Charlie have in terms of X? We got the answer, which is this one. Okay? The next one. Find the amount of uh, cookies Charlie have if X equals to 7. So we just sub it in. X equals to 7. So we just write X plus 5 over 2. Replace X by 7. So it will be 7 plus 5 over 2. What's 7 plus 5 over 2? is actually equals to 6. Okay? That's the answer. Okay, before I move on, let me ask you which one can be simplified and which fraction cannot be simplified. Okay, let me ask you, maybe 2x plus 7 over 4 or 2x plus 6 over 4. Which two fraction, either this or this, can be further simplified? Okay, the answer is this one. This can be further simplified. For this one, this is actually the final answer. For this, what's the final answer for this? Because between because between 2x, 6 and 4, all still have common factors of what? All still have common factors of 2. So we can divide everything by 2. So it will give you x plus 3 over 2. That's the answer for this. Okay? It's a bit tricky when you do fraction. Okay, the next question. Let's read. Ali has Y cookies. Bob has 8 lesser cookies than Ali. Charlie has 10 more than Bob. And Darren has wanted as many as Charlie. How many cookies does Darren have? It's a bit complicated. So the same thing, we're going to tackle clue by clue. Ali has Y. So write Ali. Y amount of cookies. Sting. Bob has 8 lesser than Ali. So Bob. 8 lesser than Ali. Y minus 8. Charlie has 10 more than Bob. So Charlie, 10 more. So how are you going to do the simplification here? Same thing as before. Group it up. Negative 8 plus 10. What's negative 8 plus 10? Y equals plus 2. That's for C. Charlie. Take. Darren here will have wanted as many cookies as Charlie. So the answer is just Y plus 2 over 3. That's the answer. Okay? That's the answer. Next one. The question has to find the number of cookies. The question has to find the number of cookies Charlie have if y equals 19. So sub y equals 19 in. So it'll be y plus 2 over 3. y equals 19, so it's 19 plus 2 over 3. 19 plus 2 is actually 21 over 3, which is equal to 7. That's the answer.
Okay? Can? So next example is a try it. Please go and try it yourself. Pause the video and go and do it. Okay, there are some problems here. So let me try. Next one. Ali has X dollars more than Bob. If you have $80 in all, find the total amount that Bob has in terms of X. So what you need to do? Every time you see more than less than, my instinct is actually, I'll try to do in what? Model drawing. So let's try to draw first. Ali. Bob. Ali has X dollars more than Bob. Like that. Tick. They have $80 in total. Find the amount that Bob has in terms of X. So this is what you do. Okay? What you do is actually, first thing, if I'll you, I'll go and find the value of these two units first. Yellow units. So how to find the value of these two un yellow units? We take 80 minus X. This is actually the value of how many units? Two units. Bob has only one unit. So how to find one unit? The value the answer is just 80 minus X over 2. That's the answer. Okay, the next step, find the amount that Ali has in terms of X. Sorry, how much Ali has, let's say X is actually, sorry, X is actually equals to 10. Okay, so we go and find Bob first. We go and find Bob first. So just start X equals to 10 in, so it will be 80 minus 10 over 2, which is equal to 70 over 2, which equals to, equals to 35. So if Bob has 35, this portion also must be 35. So how much does A have? A will be 35 plus, what's the value of X? 10, which is equal to $45. That's the answer. Okay, 10. I'll try the next one for you. This one. Let's read. Bob. Bob has two X dollars more than Ali. Ali has X dollars more than Charlie. If you have a total of $100, Find the amount that B has. Okay, so same thing, more than less than. My method of doing will be what? Model drawing. Let's draw, let's illustrate first. Bob has 2x dollars more than Ali. Okay, take the clue. Next one, Ali has x dollars more than Charlie. So means what? Charlie will have lesser. Huh? So where's the x in the model? This. In more drawing, you have to be fair. If this portion is X, this portion must also be X. Take the last clue. They have a total of what? A hundred dollars. Okay. So how do you find the amount that Bob has in terms of X? Okay. So what I need to do here, if I were you, I will instead go and add in the. We're gonna add in. We're gonna add the this one up first. We'll add this one in. So, if I blue add the blue colors, blue stuff in, what will be the total right now? The total will be 100 plus 2x plus x plus 2x. It gives me 100. So, you group it up. 2x plus x plus 2x is actually equals to plus 5x. Okay, so that's the total, 100 plus 5x. So how do you find Bob? The answer is simply 100 plus 5x over 3. That's the answer. Okay? Find amount Ali has if x equals to 10. So if x equals to 10, maybe we can go and find what? We find Bob first. Okay, we're going to find Bob. So it's going to be 100 plus 5 bracket 10 over 3 so it'll be 150 over 3 which is equals to 50 here so 50 is the amount that what Bob has but the thing is that Ali have what 2x lesser than Bob so how show 2x lesser than Bob sorry I wrap away this one so Bob has 50 so Ali will be have 50 minus 2x. x is actually equal to 10, right? So it's 50 minus 2 bracket 10 equals to 50 minus 20, which is equals to 30. 
that's the answer. Okay? Can? The next one, same thing, try it. Please pause the video and go and assemble it yourself. Okay? With this, we come to the end of the lesson. So I've actually created some of the assignments question for you. Please go and try it. All these questions are actually similar to what we have done. Okay, so once you're done all the try question, please attempt all this question yourself to have a better understanding of this problem, of this chapter. Okay? Thank you for your time. And this is actually the land of a lesson.